Rabbi Meyer, the Wiesenthal Center is launching a rather provocative, some people might say, simplistic campaign. Could you really reduce the uh, issue of potential for real peace between the Palestinians and the Arab world more broadly and Israel to six or seven words? What are those words? And those words are recognize Israel as a Jewish state because that's the reality. That's the only thing holding back peace in the Middle East. The, pe the Israelis are not going to place their destiny in the hands of Arabs who are committed to their destruction or who have this secret notion that one day they're going to be the majority and they'll, then they'll leave in the score with, this, with, with, with the state of Israel. Israel knows. How many vibrant Jewish communities are there in the Arab world? How many synagogues are there? How many Hebrew schools are there? How many, Hebrews, how many Jewish newspapers are there telling them about what's going on in the Jewish world? Imagine what would happen if... Jews would be a minority in the state of Israel. It would mean the end of the state of Israel and the greatest danger posed to the Jewish people since Adolf Hitler. Well, can you be a little bit more specific? We're not talking about Hamas here. We're talking about actually Mahmoud Abbas's PA. Why, if Abbas is prepared to say, I recognize Israel, just not as a Jewish state, how could that lead to the scenario you're talking about where Jews are a minority? Well, well what would happen? Because... First of all, Habas, while he says that he's willing to recognize the state of Israel, also recognizes Hamas, whose charter, who's going to be part of his government, and whose charter calls for the destruction of the state of Israel. And his char its charter is full of anti-Semitic concepts. So who's going to rely on the Mahmoud Abbas, whose best friend is Hamas? It's just preposterous. If you are serious, uh, if Mahmoud Abbas is serious about peace with Israel, he knows how to get into the front door. Finally end this Arab blockage of the idea that the Jewish people are entitled to a homeland in the Middle East that will forever remain Jewish without apologies to anyone. It will be a vibrant democracy where Arabs will be able to live with total freedom, but the majority will always be Jews, and it will always be a Jewish homeland. What about the... Uh, the self-declared right of return to the grandchildren and great-grandchildren of the Arabs who uh, left in 1947 and 48. Would that be blocked, or could they come and live in a democratic uh, Israel? No, that would be blocked forever. The idea that the refugees could overwhelm, come back and live in Israel, and therefore the population statistics would change overnight, and they would be the majority, and the Jewish state would be ended, it's just a non-negotiable. And no Israeli prime minister, that's not only Bibi Netanyahu, if Tsipi Livni would be the prime minister, she would never agree to that. Nobody on the left would agree to that, because that would be the destruction of the state of Israel, and there would be no more Jewish homeland. So, uh, so, uh, so for that to happen would be for Israel impossible. The, the Arab refugees, they can do... It's time for the Arab world to say, why don't we do for our brothers and sisters what the United Jewish Appeal and what the Israeli government has done for the 850,000 Jewish refugees that fled from the Arab countries. They absorbed them into Israel. Now the time has come for the Arab world to say we have 23 countries, lots of space, lots of room. We're going to absorb our Palestinian co cousins and going to make them part of the greater Arab culture rather than to try to hoodwink the Israelis into, into uh, taking them in and waking up one day and finding out that Israel is not a Jewish state. Last question. Last year at the UN General Assembly, President Obama indicated that within, he hoped in a very short period of time, the UN would recognize, would place for a uh, Palestinian state, a two-state solution. What are your expectations of the Obama administration at the 2011 General Assembly on this controversial issue of uh, a, a unilaterally declared Palestinian state? I'm sure they will have no alternative if they want to have any standing in the Jewish community and friends of Israel. They'll have no alternative but to veto the resolution because how can you accept the resolution from the Palestinians where half their government is Hamas loyalists committed to the destruction of the state of Israel that will never carry water with any friend of Israel anywhere in the world. So they have very 
and they have no alternative but to do the right thing, veto the resolution, and say, if you want to negotiate a viable two-state solution, get rid of Hamas as your partner, and recognize Israel as a Jewish state. Thank you, Rabbi